Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 30th of May comes to you from London and a shorter week in the UK this week, uh, we're celebrating the uh, Platinum Jubilee uh, Thursday and Friday uh, uh, public holidays so it's only a three day week in the UK this week so um, I'll just do the, th the three sessions. Uh, looking at the screen, we've got a lot more green on the screen uh, this morning and uh, so that's that's uh, showing that markets are starting the week relatively strongly before we look at the charts. Uh, and if we take a look at the energy mix, that's also looking quite strong. And um, quite a lot of alerts coming in this morning. It's what you'd expect on a Monday morning. Um, so we can just go through those. And the very short term ones are on the one minute charts, the short term ones are on 60 minute charts. And the medium term ones are on daily charts. So here, for example, is uh, a new um, up target for the DAX this morning um, and that's on the daily chart so those those alerts don't happen as, as, as often and again we're seeing similarly on the 50-day moving average on Tokyo um, and then the sh another one here for the DAX uh, cash and the, that was one for the future one for the cash and the Hang Seng which gave an interesting signal on Friday on the market tracker um, is through on the 50 day moving average as well so quite interesting to see those but then um, looking at the sh some of the shorter term ones uh, we see here um, short term up targets these are on the 60 minute charts again bigger box size <coughs> that's on our Bob Gasoline uh, so quite interesting just watching those and uh, these are the very short term ones if you're trading um, energy these are coming in so this this service uh, being launched um, in June uh, to our enterprise clients and really quite an interesting um, way of just seeing the, the targets and of course you can then go straight to the chart and see the chart with those news uh, stories on as well so quite interesting um, there. So um, and I expect in a minute on the nine o'clock we will get quite a few targets coming in but let's have a look at um, the market. So the dollar uh, has had a week, a couple of bad weeks there. This is the weekly chart, the daily and the 60 minute medium term, short term and long term. Uh, it's medium term, sh medium term in the middle here, short term and the long term at the top. So and the corresponding uh, point and figure target. So looking at the euro, uh, we're seeing that euro strength on that short term chart as the dollar um, has just had th those bad couple of weeks. No clear upside targets on the euro. And in fact, we put out a weekly report uh, to clients this morning on our energy daily. Uh, there's our, our morning report for today and then our weekly report. And so here we see now we see these targets all just uh, these alert targets just all kicking in now as we cross the nine o'clock level. I've got them set up on the hour on the 60 minute charts because I want the hour to close. So um, and in fact, we can go and have a look at those. Um, and so we can see um, some of these alerts now coming in a new upside target for Apple, for example, it just has run that the first time since um, Friday. Um, and so market track on sterling is turning bullish. That's quite interesting as well. Um, so quite key there. Taking a look back at um, markets, so we see we see that sterling chart. We we're just talking about that sterling uh, uh, pushing higher, so that's quite uh, key as well. Looking at the euro, um, sterling against the euro, we're, we're looking weaker there. Um, Bitcoin is back above the thirty thousand dollar mark, but really still below the cloud on the weekly and the daily. The sixty minute chart looking a little bit better, but uh, we've got this big downside target now that's going to hang over us for quite a while. The S and P five hundred index had a very strong close on Friday, um, some uh, two and a half percent up. So that's really uh, it was a strong end to the week. The Nasdaq was up 3%, so we saw, saw a real bounce there in European stocks. And notice how we bounced right on the weekly cloud there, so that's quite key as well. Looking at uh, the just some of the European indices, we've got the DAX, that's looking stronger again, just crossing back above the medium term cloud. And we talked about that upside target alert that we had. Uh, the CAC Caronte is up nearly 1%, Japan was up. Uh, nearly 2% and the Hang Seng which again we talked about in those alerts had a strong showing not yet above the cloud though. And taking a look at uh, the Aussie market we are up 1.5% and the Indian market was also up 2% so some pretty strong um, charts there. Uh, we'll look at the energy mix in a minute but uh, looking at gold 
uh, we're seeing here that we're sitting at 1859, just really bounced at that 1800 level, um, but really still taking its time to get going. Bullish long term with these upside targets, but short term we're just struggling around the, below this 1900 level. Silver back above $22. But again, just really at a long sideways range. When we break this range, it will be explosive, um, but we need to wait for the break. The US 10 year yield uh, falling right the way back, downside target to 2.4%, so that's quite key as well. Looking at the energy mix now, um, big story this morning was Brent crude was above 120. Um, it's just fallen back a little bit, but this chart is really bullish. The fact that we've had this sort of convergence and now we're running again. We put the targets out to clients. No secret that we've got a, an upside target $150 for crude oil uh, and that we put that target out in January when we were back here. So um, that is looking very likely still and the um, long-term targets are there and you can read those reports in um, in our special reports um, so um, you can go back and read those reports uh, it's quite clear there so that's that's really where you'll find it um, so coming back to the uh, energy mix uh, we've got coal sitting at 223 250 is the level on coal um, emissions really stuck in the range we were neutral again today and for the week until we break above this 90 euro mark 92 euros uh, that's really the range and again below 80 uh, so at the moment short term for today it's between 80 and 85 uh, US uh, TTF is bearish um, again we went out bearish this morning but we actually we were neutral on TTF but we were bullish on uh, MBP the targets were there we couldn't ignore them and last of all German power um, back about that what 230 level so that's really quite strong we've got upside targets another new upside target there uh, and we've been watching those targets coming in on the alerts as well so it's really quite key um, so that's it for today until tomorrow keep an eye on the price targets and watch those point and figure charts until tomorrow see you then